welcome back to my channel everybody so i thought i would do quite an in-depth morning routine just showing you what we get up to on a morning on a typical school run morning nursery morning and we start off jamie will have been working the night shift and gets back around seven so he's currently downstairs with the boys doing the breakfast i've just given emmy her first bottle and now we're just having a little bit of a cuddle before we head downstairs I decided to strip the beds today so I've just started stripping off the bed sheets ready to take down to put in the washing machine then we head downstairs and change Emmy's nappy Albie was there helping for a little while before he went off doing other things this is in Emmy's bedroom, just deciding what I'm going to put her in today. So I decided to go for just a little two piece. These are literally my favourite two pieces from H&M. And she's still actually in, I think it's one to two months. Might even be not to one, I can't remember, but they last ages anyway, those do. Got Spencer's uniform and Albie's nursery bits ready to take down to get them ready. This is Jamie getting Emmy ready. He was literally so tired this morning, bless him. He had been on a 12 hour shift and yeah, he stays up and helps me for the school run and everything. So that really, really helps. Albie, we have recently been doing potty training and he now goes on the toilet and he's been doing actually really 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 well so here he'd just been to the toilet and then after this he went and put his stickers on his reward chart just getting Spencer ready and Albie's lunchbox Albie goes to the nursery preschool which is attached to Spencer's school so Albie has a packed lunch because there isn't an option for hot dinners at preschool so here I'm just making him a cheese bread sandwich. He has a different every day. It's it's usually similar, but it sort of depends. I just like to switch it up a little bit. Got the little names on their drinks there for school. <laughs> Them two falling asleep. As I mentioned, Jamie's been on a night shift, so he's getting really tired by this point. About quarter to nine now, just getting ready to leave. Luckily, the school and preschool is across the road, so we can walk, we don't have to pile in the car. And then it was ready to leave, so we set off walking, <laughs> or they were running. And then I got home about nine o'clock, and this is where I have a good clean of the kitchen and the living room, and put a wash on, things like that, before I either go out or just chill out for the morning. So just having a clean around, it just makes me feel so much better on a morning, even for the rest of the day. I don't usually in-depth clean like this every single morning. It depends on how my morning's going with Emmy. At the minute, she's in the living room asleep, having a little bit of a morning nap. So it's given me the time and we're not going out until a bit later. So this morning i thought i'd give it a good clean before i sit down and have some breakfast it had literally been spencer's birthday a couple of days before so now was the time to just get rid of the table decorations take it all down have a good clean declutter the table because this table sometimes can just end up with stuff all over it 
just it's one of those sort of like everyone's got like a dumping sort of area in the home and this table can end up being that dumping area so i gave that a good clean good wipe down popped a candle on because i feel like when you've done a clean a candle on is just the best thing to do and then i just put the plates and the cups away because i will reuse them because i didn't end up using most of them anyway and spencer still had some of his cake left so put that away got rid of the dead flowers that were on the windowsill gave the windowsill a good clean and then gave the worktops and everywhere just a really good wipe down I love to move the toaster like once a week and get rid of all the crumbs that's like underneath it or inside it and just to make it all clean and tidy as well the coffee machine can get quite dirty from like the splashbacks when it's like filling the cup Then around half nine, Emmy was waking up, so I got her bottle ready because this is the first bottle that she's had since the morning one at around seven o'clock. She sometimes has five ounces or four, it completely depends. Most of the time it's four and then sometimes she wants five and then there is even times where she'll have six or seven. She's just really inconsistent at the moment. So I always start off with four and then sort of go from there but yeah we do love this kender mill it's worked really well for emmy and she's so happy with it and i do try and get her milk ready before she's screaming or crying for it and she's definitely due a bottle she'd woken up so i managed to get her just before she was crying and then she fell asleep so we watched a bit of coronation street before putting something on for my breakfast so around 10am I popped some sausages in and then after that I used that time to fill up the nappy caddy. This is the one that I basically take around the house anywhere I go. So I filled that one up with some nappies, wipes and nappy bags. I just received a box of goodies from Kit and Kin. So I filled everything up with those. This basket is in my living room and... I just filled those ones up as well with the nappies and the wipes. The satisfaction of filling something up like this is just, I love it. As that basket sometimes can end up with stuff all over it, so to make it all neat and tidy again. This was my breakfast, so I ended up having sausage, scrambled egg and tomato wrap, popped it back in the air fryer and that's what it was like after. Finally got round to making a coffee, I had a cappuccino this time, sprinkled a bit of chocolate powder on top. Then it's around half ten and the best mum hack, I'm sure a lot of you do it and if you don't then you need to. I literally just wash the front of my hair because I don't always have time to wash it all. I do wear hair extensions so it's just a lot easier to just wash the front because I was shoving it up anyway and it just makes it feel and look a bit fresher. Just put a little bit of makeup on for the day. I don't know if you watch my other videos, but I have been suffering with my skin, but it is seeming a lot better right now. Here's Emmy just as I'm getting ready. I absolutely love how much she's smiling now. It's just the best. And then some comfy leggings, Adenola leggings. If you know, you know that the comfiest leggings, I live in them every single day. Oversized t-shirt, ready for some soft play.
it's 10 past 11 now, so just getting ready to leave the house. Putting a little headband on. Now she's a bit bigger, these headbands actually stay on her head. So I do put them on with most outfits now when we go on. I just think it finishes off her outfit and she looks so cute. Bless her. <laughs> she's a little wobble head. And then I just get the bag together to leave, put everything in there and then we are ready to go. Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video and welcome to my YouTube channel if you've not watched me already. So it is Friday today and as you will have seen this morning I've filmed a little bit of our morning routine for you to see. I thought it would just be a lot easier to do it on sort of like a time lapse just so you can sort of see what we do typically on a morning and what we get up to so on a morning if Jamie has been working the night before because he works nights he's usually home at 7am so he is there to help me with like getting the kids ready for school and stuff and then obviously if he's off he's there to help as well so luckily for me on a morning I do actually get the help from Jamie getting the kids ready and then when I do the school run I can leave Emmy at home and just literally take the boys to school and then I get back at about five to nine and then he goes to bed and then me and Emmy get ready for the day. Sometimes we head out at like straight away at nine o'clock we're out of the door but today we're not meeting at soft play until 20 to 12 and it's now 20 past 11 and it is about 20 minutes away so I'm just on my way there now. Emmy has been okay this morning. Now she's sort of like past that 12 week mark, which was yesterday. Oh no, is she 13 weeks now actually? Oh my God, can't remember. Anyway, as soon as she's past this 12 week mark now, she's just so much better. She's so much more chilled. She's obviously a lot more aware of things now. Like when she's under a play gym or on the play mat, she's looking at things and trying to touch them and it, it's just the cutest thing ever. So, she is a lot more chilled so which means obviously i can get ready without having to worry that she's cr screaming or crying i mean don't get me wrong she still does cry but this morning was a good one so i'm meeting two of my friends today sophie and carla they've both got two children and casper and ernie are a little bit older they're two and a half and then we've all got babies within like a couple of months of each other so yeah yeah so there's just the three of us today it's called the secret garden play gym that's where we're going it's one of the nicer ones because i think when you go to like a play gym as much as obviously you want your kids to have fun that's why you go and to let off some steam you want to be able to have a nice coffee in peace don't you yeah you want to be able to have a nice coffee and a little bit of food and it not be really grubby so yeah we're going there now but i just thought i would take you along on sort of my day a little day in the life i've done a lot of days in the life but i feel like my morning routine was quite sort of in depth and what what you usually do see so i tried to get my camera out as much as possible and then i'll just show little clips of today i'll probably do it up until the school run because once the boys are home it's literally just like tea time bath time tonight as well and yeah it's usually just like tea time bath time and and then it's usually just to bed so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you at the play gym So we are home now, just been to soft play as you will have seen, which is really nice. It was actually really quiet. It's 
the quietest I think I've ever seen soft play being before but it was nice because it wasn't overcrowded so like the baby bit there weren't too many babies in there and yeah it was lovely um and I've just been to Home Bargains and Aldi needed to get some for tea from Aldi so I've just got some mints and potatoes I'm gonna do a shepherd's pie and then from Home Bargains I just got a few little bits nothing much really just washing powder not that I get powder washing liquid and fabric conditioner and all that boring stuff but yeah I have been doing a lot of meals in the air fryer and slow cooker but we did our last one of what we had for the ingredients last night so I'm going to do a shop online tonight and order some more so in the meantime that's why I'm doing the shepherd's pie but it's literally been so much easier just throwing stuff into a slow cooker or the air fryer not having to use the oven or the hob and obviously putting stuff in the slow cooker at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon it's then ready for tea time and there's no faffing about because when obviously I've got like the kids that come home from school then I've got Emma, Jamie gets up gets up because he's been working on nights he gets up at four and then he goes back to work about half six so there's just not much time in between but yeah it's five to three now they're nice you're googling that aren't you <laughs> It's five to three now, school runs at 20 past, so I'm going to feed Emmy, get her in the carrier, I think, and then walk to school and get the boys. But yeah, I'm going to finish this video here because I think it's been long enough to make one anyway. Um, yeah, and I don't have much going on this weekend, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. And if you've got any ideas or anything you want to see on my channel, then please let me know and please give my Instagram a follow now as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching as usual and I will catch up with you soon. Bye bye.